Hey guys, Naturally and Elsie here and I'm about to put up my hair but I figured it would be a great time to show you guys the process that I go through in the winter time and add this to my winter hair care segment and I know the first one I did was a deep conditioner if you guys want to see that you can click up here and see that but basically in this video I'm going to tell you guys about the steps that I take to do a process called moisturizing and sealing and basically what moisturizing and sealing is is when your hair is dry in the winter months you actually need to do a little bit more as far as to like keep the health of your hair and keep it moisturized and not dry and all those other things because there are a lot of bad elements in the winter time that's not good such as like the cold air outside the dry hair and maybe certain products that you might use that may not be the best for your hair like I think Glycerin is a bad product to use for the winter because what that does is it actually keeps moisture in your hair But once you go out side in like, you know, the cold climate that strips it right out of your hair So, you know, there's certain things that you want to do and I did make a video about that as well Winter hair care for like way long ago when I had like a TWA and if you guys want to see that I'll link that over here, but on to this video basically um like I said, moisturizing and sealing, the first step is self-explanatory. You moisturize your hair with a moisturizer. To demonstrate, I'm going to be using this moisturizer by Cantu Shea Butter, and this is the Creamy Hair Lotion. And then after you moisturize your hair, you want to seal in that moisture. Oh, that moisture. <laughs> you want to seal in that moisture, so the next step that you would do was be to apply an oil on top of it now it doesn't really matter what kind of oil it is honestly you can use coconut oil you could use um, almond oil you could use what else you use jasmine oil whatever oil that you guys have on hand go for it and use it because what you basically want to do is just put something on top of the hair that is already moisturized to seal in that moisture that you have going on so that's the part that's called sealing and that's where the oil comes in now I also wanted to introduce a new oil that I'm using and this is from the I think it's grow Aught solutions and this is the hair growth oil and this is supposed to help reduce breakage encourage growth strength and repair hair and moisturize and protect so I think that's pretty awesome with this oil and for those of you that are a little bit curious as far as like what the ingredients of this oil is it has coconut oil olive oil jojoba oil I think that's elip elipita oil or eclipta oil alba it has umbilica officinalis I don't I'm not sure what that is rosemary oil biotin biotin <laughs> MSM Len Lavender Oil is the last one. So it has a whole bunch of nice, you know, good oils in it. And I like that because, you know, the products are all natural. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Janelle Holder. I think her name is Miss Chef Janelle Holder, but I'll put a link down here as far as like what her name is right here. So yeah, this is her name. So the reason why I want to give her a shout out is because she's actually the one that introduced me to this oil. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And for the first time in like years that I've been watching videos on YouTube, I won a giveaway. And I was like very shocked when I found that I, I won. This was the prize for the giveaway and it was the Grow Out Oil. And she's actually doing a challenge where she's trying to grow out her hair. And I think she's going to be utilizing protective styles for I think maybe a year or two years. So you guys definitely go check out her channel and see what she has to offer. She's really awesome. I follow her on Instagram. I, you know, subscribe to her on YouTube. So yeah. So thank you Janelle for sending me my oil. So now I'm going to get started on my hair. What I'm basically going to do is um, my hair is like, I guess you could say, pretty stretched and it has texture in it already. So I'm basically going to do like, I guess you could say, uh, jumbo kinky twists or whatever because, like I said, my hair is stretched. And I'll just show you guys the process of like, you know, the moisturizing and sealing, you know, method that I do. So basically, I would section my hair off in four sections like I always do. And I'm going to get a little bit of my moisturizing. So this should be enough to cover that section, or more than enough, I should say. And all I'm going to do is just apply this over my hair, like so. Paying close attention to your ends, because these are the parts that usually tend to get dry and brittle and break off, and we do want to retain length. So definitely pay attention to your ends, and then move your way up to the root of your hair like so 
so after you've made sure that your hair is fully coated with moisture as you can see it looks a little bit more shiny you want to go in and you want to get your oil so i'm not going to use too much of this because um for my um uses of this oil i applied every other night i'm not going to use too much of it because it really does go a long way and you can really feel this oil you know working in your scalp so definitely guys check it out if you have a chance like i do like you know the um I guess you could say the results that it's been showing me so far as far as like you know on my hair but what I'll basically do is I'll just squirt a little bit on my scalp not too much just a little bit just so I can have my scalp you know moisturized because like I said in the winter time your hair tends to get very dry and your scalp does as well so you know you do want to pay attention to it so now that that's in my scalp and as you can see I have some of the residue on my fingers I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand not too much because like I said this stuff really does go a long way so I'm going to use about that much I'm going to coat my hands with it and now I'm going to seal in that moisture with the oil so that moisture the moisturizer I just applied to my hair is now being locked in with the oil and this is the sealing process of the moisturize and seal method and again you want to pay close attention to your ends and work your way up to the roots and now all I'm gonna do is basically just begin to you know put in my chunky twists so you guys know how I usually do it I show you a demo on one part and then I do the rest off camera and then come back so I'm just twisting here And as you can see, the oil has made my hair very, very shiny. So that's another factor that I do like on the oil. And I'll definitely be coming back and doing like a full review of like, you know, my hair to see, you know, maybe if it did garage or some later on. Because I really do like the product and you guys know when I love something, I want to share it with you all. So I'll definitely have a detailed review of the oil. So I'm just going to continue twisting my hair like so. And this is the last section that I'm going to twist. Alright, so I basically finished all of my twists. As you can see, they're looking all chunky and all over the place. But um, yeah, just take a notice of like the shine that the oil basically, um, you know, put on my hair. It looks a lot shinier than you know how you saw it earlier when it was out but yeah this is basically the moisturizing and sealing process guys and after I finish you know twisting it all I'll do is just put my bonnet on and basically prepare for bed and yeah I'm pretty much finished so guys yeah that's pretty much the process pretty simple right I mean it's not anything crazy and I guarantee guys that you will see a difference in your hair so guys yeah that's pretty much it. it's pretty simple straightforward moisturize and then seal oil moisturizer oil pretty simple and I guarantee you guys will definitely see a difference as far as like you know your hair when you come back from inside out from like the cold and everything like that because I know I definitely do so guys yeah let me know you know if you've seen a difference with utilizing this process or what kind of oils you guys use because I'm always looking for new oils and whatever moisturizer you use as well so guys that's pretty much it thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys